then what I want to do is put rehearsal marks in here. And rehearsal mark is Apple R. R for rehearsal mark, but with the Apple preceding it. So the Apple key, of course, is the command key. And so just hit that, get A in there, click on a measure or a note, Apple R. We get B, we can raise that up a little bit. Come down here and Apple R again, and we've got that. All right, we're getting there. <clears throat> Now what we want to do is, because this is written out for horn, we want to change instrument. So I'm going to go over, click here, and in order to change instrument, right here in the Home tab, there's two icons you want to become familiar with. One is this Add or Remove Instruments. And if you click this, you'll notice the page that comes up is the one that we had to use when we were changing instruments from the Setup menu and this allows you to come to different instrument groupings and you can check them here as well and then find the instrument you want and you can add instruments to the score, you can delete instruments from the score. So for instance, if I wanted to add, um, oh, let's just say we wanted to come down here and add a tuba part to this, I can and you can see the tuba has been with the plus sign, it's been added here. We can hit OK and all of a sudden now you'll notice of I've added a, a one more stave to this overall staff and I've got a bigger score now. So I can start my score small and then grow them as I'm growing my compositional ideas. I can usually start small and just try to get certain ideas down and then I can grow those ideas. Uh, and this is, I find this to be a much more organic process and is far better for the construction of music than just starting off with some big huge score. Now I can go back to that icon though uh, and we could delete that because uh, we actually don't want that for this particular project. So I'm going to hit delete from score. And there we go. Uh, and we can come back, hit OK. And you'll notice that tuba part is gone.